What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And about a month ago I made a video kind of discussing the error codes that we were getting in Red Dead Online. I told you guys that I was talking back and forth with uh, Rockstar through several emails and it ended up being around 16 emails. And I kind of figured I'd make an update video for that, letting you guys know I really did not get any solid answer from Rockstar. Through 16 different emails, it was always the same problem fix kind of solution ideas, you know, the same things you can find on forums or anywhere else. If you've even talked to Rockstar, you've probably got all these same uh, questions, you know, port forwarding, all of that good stuff. Like I said in the video that I made before, if you have not seen that, I'll click it up in the top right corner right now so you can check that out. But I always port forward every game I play. I also always go inside of my router, have the option to make sure that my PlayStation, um, within my router, that my PlayStation uh, IP never changes. So I always check that, put in the IP that I want to not change. I always make sure that that's on. So, you know, if something odd happened and it changed, so my NAT type would mess up. That's always been checked. Like I said, all the games report forwarded. So Rockstar kind of was at a loss, I guess, almost. They also wanted my internet speed time and time again because I talked to several, several, several different people. They wanted to know my speeds. Of course, as like I told you guys in that other video, I have 100 down always around 10 or 11 up. And if I speed test my stuff to the West Coast, about a 30 ping anywhere up the East Coast uh, or in the Central U.S., about a 10 to 25 ping. And they would always send me back the same answer when they got the clip of my speeds and, and pings and that and said everything was fine on that end, that I had plenty enough internet to support the game, which of course, you can have one down, one up, and still play online games as long as your pings are good. So to me, after 16 emails and, and just the same fixes over and over, no real solution from Rockstar, I even asked them why the error code states that it is a Rockstar server issue. I could get no real answer out of that either. It was just kind of like they were leading me around in a big circle just with the same problem-solving fixes from person to person. So sadly, I have no update, and sadly, I think that this is really causing a problem in game because you still see this as an issue day in and day out. People talking about it in YouTube videos, people talking about it on forums, and it's just odd to me that I could play the game perfectly fine from when it was released, uh, and then of course when the online beta came out, all the way up until 1.09. That is when update 1.09 was released is when I started having problems. Now, if you have not tried to bridge your modem, try that. A lot of people say that works for them. Also, what I did personally for myself was I downgraded the firmware on my router. I just went back to the last firmware before this most recent update, which the update that I got was probably January or February. So it was still a good while before 1.09 was released. But I just downgraded my firmware to, you know, from the most recent to the kind of next tier down. And that seems to work pretty well for me. Now, I still do get the error code. But I can consistently, for the last several weeks, play for at least three hours or four before I get kicked one time. And then when the kicking kind of starts, when I start getting that error code, I might get it once or twice within the next couple hours. But it's not as bad as it was, where it's every five to ten minutes. I mean, it was a problem there for weeks, for the first two weeks before I did this, that I was just getting kicked every five to ten minutes. It was pretty much unplayable. So try bridging your modem. Also try downgrading your um, uh, firmware, maybe on your router. And like I said, it was just pretty much the same kind of go around. Everything that Rockstar said, every person I talked to, all 16 emails were the same thing. Port forwarding, which I always do. Uh, you know, like I said at the start, always uh, like lease my IP for my PlayStation. So I always keep the same IP. They always ask you to check your NAT on your PlayStation. In case you do not know how to do that, go in the settings. If you look at your internet settings, it will show NAT type 1, 2, or 3. NAT type 1 just means your PlayStation or Xbox is plugged straight into your modem. NAT type 2 just means you have a router in between that. One or two are both open. So if your shows NAT type 1, NAT type 2, you're perfectly fine. There, there's no issue there, and that's, of course, what they will tell you. Now, if you show like NAT type 3, they might tell you some other things to try. But if you have NAT type 1 or 2 inside of your PlayStation or your Xbox, you have no problem. That is just the normal what you will receive or you will see when playing, you know, any game. Um... The other problems that, that I kind of asked them, like I said, I really just get no response. And it kind of frustrates me because people have even talked about having issues in GTA Online. Now we have these issues in Red Dead Online. Will we ever get a fix? I don't know. Leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. And, of course, if you'd like to hit the like, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'll catch you next time. Peace.